With us now here in the Situation Room is Bill Cosby's attorney, Monique Presley. Thank you so much for being with us to talk about this. Why isn't your client asserting his innocence? That's exactly what I'm here to do. What do you mean? I said, why isn't he? <laughs> because he does that through attorneys. And I know that you know, because you've been in the business a long time, that people who are charged with crimes have a right to remain silent and they don't have an obligation to prove up their innocence. It's the people who are charging them that have an obligation to prove beyond a reasonable doubt their guilt. And if every time Mr. Cosby opens up his mouth, he gets sued by another person with false al allegations who's looking to make some money, then it becomes risky to say anything at all. So under the good advice of counsel, he's letting me do the talking for him, and that's why I'm here tonight. In this criminal complaint, which quotes this deposition, it's Bill Cosby who tells police that he went to his room, he came down with pills for Andrea Constand to take, and that he touched her bare breasts and her private parts. He recounts uh, a phone call that he had with Andrea Constand's mother where he says, uh, he says, I think I gave the victim some pills. And uh, he told Mrs. Constant that he touched the victim's breasts and vagina, but guaranteed her that there was no penile penetration. So this, this idea of giving a woman pills and then having sexual contact with her, this is his idea of a consensual sexual experience? Right, but you didn't say what the pills were, and I understand that people want them to be quaaludes because in another part I of the deposition that wasn't released. No, 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 don't put words in my released. mouth. He says Benadryl no, here, no, I did not say quaaludes. These are the words coming out of my mouth. Okay. I said people, not you want for those to be quaaludes and are trying to conflate issues, but what the deposition revealed, the parts that are already out there that I can actually talk about because I'm still constrained by a confidentiality agreement, says that it was Sustinex and that the complainant in this case took it willingly after complaining of being unable to sleep and complaining of pain to the head. So the incident that you described, the actions that you described from the deposition, I know you know are not criminal. So the fact that someone took some medication right. that is you, legal I'm, and you, over you're the saying, counter. Uh, you're not, right. You said that I know that that is... Consensual you, wait, sexual contact pause, is not pause. illegal. You said that I, that I know it's not consensual. I did not say that. Because you're an experienced reporter. You know no, what I'm you asking just described you, No, I'm asking you if, if giving pills, which he asserts at different points, are different kinds of things, uh, whether that is consensual. He also did testify in that deposition that he obtained seven prescriptions for quaaludes to give to other people, not to take himself. That's something that he considers acceptable. That's in order that was going on in the 70s, and this is an allegation about okay, 2004. That, uh, sure, sure, sure. Right. But doesn't something that he did in the 70s show that he considers it acceptable? Well, I don't know. Do people do things 40 years earlier that they consider acceptable and then no longer consider them acceptable when it's 40 years later? Certainly, I've done things 30 years ago. I'm just 45 now, so when I was a young teen or a young adult, that I wouldn't consider acceptable acceptable behavior for someone of my age, and I'd like to think that the American people who are watching would feel the same way, but where quaaludes are concerned, that's not even a substance that was available on market 40 years later. So the fact that he willingly was deposed and gave that information has nothing to do with what even this complainant said herself. It's not just his testimony, it's hers. And her testimony was not that she was slipped a drug. Her testimony was not that she was forced to take anything. Her testimony was not that her she was forced to Her testimony was that she thought anything. it was herbal.